I, I grew up in a uh, um, very small town in Thailand. Uh, it's called Con Ken. It's about uh, five hours from Bangkok. And um, Con Ken is nothing. It's like very little small town. And so there's not many cinema or anything that I can expose to. So um, when I just know from the old Thai films, that I watch it just uh, I like those disasters film, you know, like earthquake and stuff. But it's in Thai, Thai, Thai film production, stuff like that. But then I, uh, let's say, after like in college, I start to see more films and uh, very influenced by uh, a lot of American like back then in the eighties, uh, Spielberg, like other people, you know, that generation. Then I start to uh, 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 go to Bangkok and get uh, videotapes and uh, anything, and then I discover uh, European films or classic American films, and I start to watch. But all of them are in video format, so it's kind of you know tricky. <laughs> like and so, and then I study architecture architecture because in Thailand uh, I, I wanted to to study film but in in Thailand you don't have any good film school so I I, I decide okay I talk with my family uh, the good good way to uh, what say, have a backup career is uh, studying architecture and then afterwards I, I say okay I finished that uh, so I come to Chicago. I choose Chicago because it's um, uh, Art Institute of Chicago. It seems like it's one of the most important school for experimental film that I'm really interested in. One day I went to the Art Institute Museum. They have a very good collection of uh, this exquisite corpse. Uh, it's it's a drawing of a uh, French surrealist artist, uh, the French, and what they did was uh, they have a piece of paper, and the first person draw a picture, and then they fold the paper. So what what the next person uh, would see is a, uh, just a line that continue from the first drawing, and then so that next person just. Uh, draw after and fold, you know, like umbrella kind of, yeah, and then pass over and over and then afterwards they, um, how do you say, fold out the, the paper so you see this um, random and continuous image from the same line that originated. So I was so fascinated by, by that uh, idea of uh, you know, it's kind of relaxed in a way of passing time in the cafe and in a way you create something and it's fun. So I thought, well, I, I would like to try, maybe this could be a, in a cinematic form. So I, uh, I developed the ideas of uh, this, you know, um, unrelated, you know, uh, contributors. So that's how I come to the documentary format of, uh, of going to approach people in various parts of the country. I kind of like the idea of uh, approaching individuals who, who's not really, what to say, familiar with the, the medium, the media. You know, they, you know, if you go to town, they're very um, used to TV camera and stuff. So. So when we go to some remote area, they kind of don't know how to react. Uh, didn't know how to react, and and to tell a story for them was like I asked for fiction. So it seemed like a lie, somewhat that they have to make something up, and uh, it's quite difficult for them. So at some for some characters, I I had to help them a bit, like. Uh, what about this? What about that? I kind of suggest a bit, and uh, and then they they choose and they say, well, that's good. And how about? And then so they started to have a feedback of their their own. So yeah, but you wouldn't believe like some of them just 
sit there and didn't know how to react to just to tell a story. <laughs> Three years in the make, so the crew shift um, changing faces um, because I don't I didn't have budget for them, so I just put an ad in the newspaper where we need this independent film, we need uh, volunteer, no experience required, and and many people just apply and like. Uh, 30 something and which is amazing for for Bangkok during that time because the economy is so was so bad and uh, the thing is uh, we didn't pay we just pay your meals and yeah you know it's a film of the villagers uh, because they it's a the whole piece is a col collaborative piece of you know this little story and I'm basically I'm a story editor and uh, that's why I didn't say I direct the film, I conceive the film. So um, it's, it's more like a little sketch, a lot of sketches along the way. So it's pretty uh, kind of fun if you look at in that perspective. But if you look uh, for a narrative or for suspense or something, it, it doesn't work that way. So, and that kind of um, structure, it, it's open-ended. Also, it's about my, it's in three years, about my, my mood of doing the, in, my impression of doing the travel, the journey. So I try to, each city has different characteristics. So, and the mood shift, like the second half of the film is totally slower. Seem like the film stopped because then I am so sick of looking for story and I just have enjoy more with looking at uh, locations and its people. So the film changed too. They changed into just looking, observing people, and uh, so it re reflects the film. Reflects uh, could be called a documentary of uh, my uh, and the, the crew's mood during the shoot also and and another note is um, it's a very low budget so so we don't have uh, you know we we have to stop the film somewhere you know at the the so we decide to stop the film at the the place in the south that um, the camera broke down so it, it just the last frame is what this this camera now is junk now <laughs> like the last frame is what the last capture of from this camera so it's also a documentation of the limitation of this you know medium <laughs> yeah